Hey kiddos, it's Riley, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am not regressed right now filming, but that's because I'm going to be talking about a little bit more of a complicated subject. I wanted to discuss with you guys today age regression and gender. To some people, these two things have nothing to do with each other, and to other people, they have a lot to do with each other. So I just thought I would take you through today and talk to you about the importance of gender within age regression, and sometimes the importance of age regression within gender. Now, a lot of the things that I will be saying in this video are coming from my perspective, my point of view, so they might not necessarily ring true for you, and that's totally okay. You might have other things that ring true for you that I don't mention. Gender is a really complicated subject that can be incredibly confusing for a lot of people. Sometimes because of Adri, people will feel more comfortable exploring their gender identity and their gender expression. Biological kids don't have the same ideas about gender initially that adults do. They learn it from adults and depending on how young you regress, your regressed self might be the same way that the biological child would. Kids don't know the difference between boy toys and girl toys. They don't care. And sometimes when you can slip back into that regressed headspace, you don't care either. And it is a safe and accepting place where you can explore playing with your gender identity or your presentation, labels you like to use, things like that. As a kid, it's a lot easier to enjoy whatever you want without the societal pressures of gender constructs. And when regressing, we're kind of going back into that stage of life. So while it might be ingrained in someone's adult brain that exploring gender is bad and that they can't question, when they regress they might feel a lot more comfortable exploring their gender. And exploring gender in a regressed state can help you approach the subject with less judgment, especially if there is any transphobia that has been taught to you or internalized. It's also important to note that people that are cis and trans alike can experience gender differently when they regress. I know plenty of people who are cis males, but when they regress they are incredibly effeminate and prefer feminine names. Yet I know cis females who are the exact opposite. They are very feminine in their adult lives, and yet when they regress they are very masculine. It's a very common thing to find that your gender presentation will shift when you regress. Just as it's normal for your interests when you regress to shift, your ideas about gender and your presentation and what you wish to identify, it could also shift. It, it's just as normal. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about how Adri can affect gender and vice versa, and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video, because I want you to know that if you are experiencing this, that you are normal. It's valid. Sorry about that weird interruption. My memory card was full. I'm trying to remember where I left off. Oh, it's totally valid, and it's way more normal than you would think. Some people choose to use items that aren't necessarily stereotypical to the gender they identify as in their regression. So girls liking the more masculine things, boys liking the more feminine things, non-binary folks liking masculine or feminine things. Very common to not necessarily gravitate towards things that are commonly associated with your gender when you regress because it's like something in our brain shifts. Our interests are different, we are mentally younger, and sometimes people choose to use items not tied to the gender they identify as. Could be because of trauma or childhood memories that aren't great, or for comfort or other personal reasons. But this is also a really good time to mention that it's very important to remember that anyone can be a prince or a princess or a princette or a prince X or whatever royalty you wish to call yourself. You don't have to be a certain gender. All of us are valid here in the regression community. 
all of us, regardless of our gender identity, our sexuality, our age, our assigned gender at birth, it doesn't matter. And this last thing is more from personal experience, but for some trans people, regressing can help them kind of gain a childhood in their gender identity that they never really had. So now, as an example for me, I can regress and I can just be the little boy that I should have been. And it kind of helps reassociate things and form better memories. Making new childhood memories can help you feel a lot more valid, especially if you make them being your gender instead of being forced into something else. Gender is so complicated and weird and you don't have to have it all figured out. It's okay to question, it's okay to not be sure, it's okay to explore. And I would say that the regression community is a pretty safe place to do that. There are a lot of really wonderful, supportive people here. So maybe if you are wanting to explore your gender a little bit, try thinking about it or experimenting with it when you regress next time. It might help. You might figure something out. That's about all I have for this video. If you would like to see more content all about age regression from me, you can be sure to subscribe to this channel. I post over here about three times a week. But if you would like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. If you would like to support me and my content, I have a Ko-Fi linked in the description where you can send me a tip for the price of a coffee, and all of those go to helping me pay bills, live life, and they really help me out. I appreciate them more than you know. But if you'd rather spoil a baby, I got a wish list down there too. I love you guys so hecking much, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.